Okay, so good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to NJ ACAC's virtual college exploration. You're in the Lycoming College session, and thank you for attending. I just have a, my name's Karima, and I just have a few uh, housekeeping things to cover, and then we'll go ahead and get started. And we welcome Justin Assant, if I'm, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly, but thank you very much for being here. Um, Thank you. Okay, so just a couple things, just for you participants, students, if you have questions that you want to ask, you're going to do that simply by using the Q&A box. And then uh, probably towards the end of the session, Justin will address those questions. This session will be recorded, so you can look at it on demand. I think they'll post it within a week. Um, also, if there if we run out of time and Justin doesn't have time to answer all the Q&A questions, um, he will get a transcript of all those and we'll be able to follow up with you afterwards. Um, also want to remind you students that your camera and microphone are shut off, uh, which is done on purpose. So you are muted and, the, and none of the panelists can either hear you or see you. Um, also want to remind you that this is just one of many college presentations. So please go to the njacac.org slash virtual fair and sign up for other sessions. Um, I will see you again uh, 45 minutes after the hour. And so right now I'm gonna stop sharing, mute myself and leave it to Justin. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Justin Austin. I'm the Assistant Director of Admissions at Lycoming College. I'm very happy to be with you all um, today. And what we're going to talk about is Lycoming College and what it has to offer uh, the wonderful students of New Jersey. So as I stated before, I am an alumni. I graduated from Lycoming in 2013 with a degree in corporate communications. Um, and I, this is my fifth year working in the state of New Jersey. So um, as you can see here, we do talk a lot about a, a lot of great things about a 21st century education and why we say think deeply and act boldly for our students. Um, up First, you know, like Coleman College students, uh, we are competent in the pursuit of knowledge and bold in its application. They, they immense themselves in a high impact education and experience. And some of the things that we're gonna talk about today are our Center for Enhanced Academic Experiences, what wonderful majors we offer, what you're going to be doing outside of the classroom, and so much other great, great things. But first, before we dive any deeper, I'm going to play this lovely video for you just to give you a little glimpse of what like Coleman College has to offer. I am a college made of brick and mortar, fueled by heart and mind. On this ground, hallowed and won by the sweat of champions, I've created a home for scholars and leaders. I've watched over this river as it carved its course through the valley. Watched the sun rise over these hills 75,000 times. And I, I am just getting started. I am a challenge. Show me what you're made of. Make me an instrument of your ambition. Doctors, lawyers, teachers and leaders, artists, soldiers, writers, businessmen and women. I've produced them all in classrooms of steel and glass and classrooms of earth and sky. In the field, I'm a scholar. On the field, I'm a warrior. Let's shake things up, make some waves, put the liberal arts to work digging, researching, building, discovering, creating, blazing a trail into the next world. I am an engine of evolution, of revolution. I turn thought into theory, and theory into practice, and practice into perfect. I can remember very clearly when I came here for my visit as a candidate, uh, my wife and I walked out into this magnificent quad that's at the center of this campus and I said, this is what a liberal arts college should be. The kind of student that comes to Lycoming is a student that is hungry and ambitious 
And when you are able to attract students who have that kind of hunger and ambition, and you mix them together with a faculty that is dedicated and committed to undergraduate liberal arts education, the outcome can really be quite spectacular. If we look at the enduring nature of the liberal arts, they provide a student with the skill set to be able to learn continuously and to adapt to a changing world. Lycoming is an institution which, while small in the number of students that we have, is a giant in terms of the kind of impact that we have. We have the faculty, we have the student body, we have an extraordinary sense of history and great potential for the future. We really can achieve greatness. We can aspire to it and we can achieve it. So just to give a little bit of background of who we are, Lycoming College was founded in the year 1812, which makes us one of the 50 oldest colleges across the United States. Totally, we have 12,000 or 1,200 students on campus, and they range uh, between 52% female and 48% male. And they come from 32 states and 15 countries. Um, and our faculty, we have 90 full-time faculty, 96% of those faculty members hold a PhD or the highest education available within their field. And with that, with the amount of faculty that we have and the small number of students that we have, we have a 12 to one student to faculty ratio. The reason why I mentioned this folks is because of the fact that during your time at college, you're gonna to wanna to get the opportunity to speak with your professors. If something you don't do well on a quiz or an exam, or you just have a question of something um, that you didn't quite understand in class, you're going to be able to go to these faculty members and speak with them, ask them questions, um, whether it's during office hours or it could just be passing through the hallway in between classes. Our faculty do a really fantastic job to sit down with you and go over things. And if you know, you're not sure of something, they will point you in the right direction, whether that be a tutor or the Academic Resource Center. We're just going to be able to make sure that you do graduate within four years. Uh, we, you know, when students enroll, we're not trying to keep them for more than four. Um, there are some students that do have to come back for a fifth year for our, uh, if, you know, in terms of education, if they waited till their second semester, sophomore year, but that is just some things that, you know, that may happen along the way, but you will have an academic advisor to help you. Um, with that, you know, with us being undergraduate students only, uh, we have professors, mentors, and collaborators. There's no graduate assistance, no student aides. Um, it's just you and our professors that work together. And that's why, as you can see on this slide, that we're nationally ranked. Once again, for the fourth consecutive year, we're listed in the Princeton Review Best 385 Colleges. We've been listed as a top tier, top tier uh, National Liberal Arts and Science Institution by US News and World Report. And we continue to climb rankings and you could just search us online. Um, you'll be able to see all the great work that you know we've been able to do here at Lycoming. Just some things to talk about, even though we are one of the oldest colleges in the country, that does not mean we do not make sure that our face is nice and clean. As you can see here, some of the photos as you see um, with our facilities, we've had some construction done over the last couple of years. Our newest building, which is our Craft Gateway Center, which is that top photo, it's home to admissions where I work, as well as our Center for Enhanced Academic Experiences, our Outdoor Leadership and Education Program. I'll touch on those a little bit later today. Um, as well as the three-story climbing wall, which is really unique. Um, the purpose of this was the revitalization of the east end of the Williamsport City area. Um, again, we are one of the older, older cities in Pennsylvania, but um, this is the official gateway to campus. It's the official entrance. When families get off the highway, get off Interstate 80, they're able to pull right up and see our lovely campus, and that's our official entryway. Um, during the video, you saw the one building, the Lynn Science Center. That was our most completed or most recent completed facility in terms of the academic realm. Over the summer though, this past summer, 2019, our academic center was completely redone. We tore down the classrooms, down to the studs, but new carpeting, new desks, new furniture, and we are equipped as well um, with everything going on with the COVID pandemic. We have actually outfitted our classrooms with cameras and microphones so if students you know, get sick or they can't attend class, they're able to virtually either zoom in. Microsoft Teams is what we use on our campus, so they won't miss a beat on that. Um, some other things are within our Heim building. We've actually renovated that, which is home to our chemistry, um, biology, as well as our biochemistry majors. 
we've upgraded some of the labs in there. We've done some other things. Um, we've also updated our residential halls for our freshman students. Uh, in the summers of 2017 and 2018, the restrooms were completely redone in both those buildings. So we try to keep a very new look on our campus. So what is like Coleman College offering our students it's a 21st century liberal arts education? As you can see, we have 43 majors, 66 minors. Students can combine them, um, have double majors, a major and a minor, two majors, two minors. You'll have, you'll have help along the way with that. We have students as early as uh, summer orientation will be given an academic advisor. It may not be within the major that they choose. About 88% of our students come in undeclared but we give students their second semester sophomore year to declare their major. Once you declare your major, you'll be then given a different academic advisor, but within, the, but within your major. These are just a couple of the majors that we have to offer. Astrophysics, biochemistry, neuroscience, energy studies, entrepreneurship, and our newest major, Latin American archaeology. Some other majors that are very key for us at Lake Combing is our business program. It's what we're best known for, business administration. Criminal justice, psychology, I mentioned earlier, education, history as well. Uh, just some other things, as you can see, customized all of our cross-disciplinary market-driven programs tailored to your interests and your career goals. One thing though, before a student graduates, they will have to complete what we call an enhanced academic experience. There's hundreds of options in terms of an enhanced academic experience. That could be being a double major, major and minoring. Um, but I'm going to go deeper into that because we have a specific office on our campus, which is the Center for Enhanced Academic Ex Experiences. It's a high impact, high reward opportunity for our students. So not only will you be given an academic advisor during your time at Lycoming, you'll also be giving an advisor within your career. The Center for Enhanced Academic Experiences, each major is placed within a specific cluster. Within that cluster is a career advisor. So that means during your time, again, as early as your summer, uh, before freshman year, you'll get to meet your academic or your career advisor. And they'll be working with you, collaborating, working on resumes, cover letter workshops, um, study abroad opportunities, faculty student research, internships, all those things are available to our students. And you have to complete one of these before you graduate. Just some things to talk about specifically in this slide. On the top of this, uh, uh, the top picture of this slide, that is part of our Clean Water Institute. So Williamsport is located in central Pennsylvania. We do have various rivers, creeks, and streams that run through without the city, uh, throughout the city, I mean. And our students, specifically in the biology field, get the opportunity to kind of go in into the creeks and see what's going on. Um, we do, with Williamsport, we sit on top of what is called the Marcellus Shale, which is one of the largest natural gas uh, queries in the United States. And over the last couple of years, Fracking has been, uh, has been very big. And what our students are doing with the Clean Water Institute is making sure that none of the stuff that's involved with fracking is getting into the local streams or the water supply. And our students are actually in the field. Um, we also have a watershed, which was donated by an alumni from 1998. They don't, it was a piece of property within Loyal Stock Township, which is about not even a mile away from campus. Um, and our students actually get to go to that watershed and make sure that that creek and stream is doing well. Just some other things as well. Uh, the Smithsonian, for those of you interested in archaeology, we do have a dig site. One, uh, one of the sites is in Cyprus, so you actually have to do one archaeological dig before you graduate. And our student here is actually working at the Smithsonian, categorizing, as you can see, a triceratops skull, which is really, really cool. Um, again, global study. If you want to study abroad, we have many, many options for that as well. Um, you could do a semester or what we like to call May term. May term is a very short term. It's about a six-week uh, trip. Our students, you know, go all over, and it doesn't even have to be outside of the country. When I talk about our outdoor leadership and education program next, um, they actually did a partnership with our biology department where they actually went out to the Grand Canyon. So just some really cool things that are going on here. Residential life. So with our students, they do live on campus. 87% of our students live on campus, as you can see. We do have a small commuter population, but you have to live within at least 15 miles of campus. For freshmen, we have three different residential halls, Skeeth, Asbury, and Wesley. Uh, Skeeth and Asbury are both co-ed, floor by floor and wing. Uh, as I stated earlier in the summers of 2017 and 2018, they renovated, um, they renovated the restrooms in those facilities, so, which is really great um, compared to when I was a student there. Two current rods, 
porch curtains, they called it a shower, um, but now individual showers for our students, individual changing stalls. Um, so those are some really great upgrades for those. Uh, Wesley, which is one of our upperclassmen residence halls, the first floor of those are affinity housing, and that's for STEM students. You have to be invited into that program and uh, single bathrooms, kitchenette on each wing, um, first year program, first year resident 16 together. Students are actually taking a class. There's actually a classroom in Wesley Hall um, for that first year seminar program. And again, you have to be invited into that program. For upperclassmen, we have six residential halls and there's different styles of living. Rich Hall is actually our all females dorm. Um, and then Creever and Asbury, or sorry, Creever and Williams Hall are both co-ed uh, residential halls, but they have suite style living. So that's two rooms sep separated by a bathroom. We do have single style living as well in Forest Hall. Um, but then also we do own a couple houses that are right across the street from campus, but they are campus property. Those are broken up amongst students, so in groups, um, so you'll be able to live there. As well as in the lower photo on this slide, those are our Delphic Commons, um, which are furnished apartments, and those are groups of six. So um, these are done on a draft basis. So what that means is you're given a, a draft lottery number, and those are done by GPA. So the higher the GPA, so 4.0, you would get the number one draft pick, and that way you could kind of pick the best room on campus. Um, so those are some really, really great opportunities as well. During your time on Lake Coleman College's campus, not only will you be doing great work in the classroom, but outside of the classroom as well. We have 80 plus clubs and organizations on campus. Um, when I was a student there, I was a, I was a part of many, many great clubs and organizations. I did play football for the college. I did two years of that until unfortunately an injury I had to stop. But one of the great opportunities with that was I actually got to go into radio announcing. I was able to announce all of our home football, men's and women's basketball games. Pretty cool um, to be on the radio. And um, we had a website so my family and friends could listen all across the state of Pennsylvania, which was pretty cool. Um, but the one time my grandparents actually listened, uh, they were down in North Carolina with my twin uncles and they were able to listen to my, or my weekly show that I had during, uh, during my time at Lake Coming. But also some other things, Greek life organizations, service oriented. We have our campus activities board, which is in charge of bringing all sorts of different fun activities to campus. Usually the first weekend we have our campus carnival, which is a lot of fun. Um, they, we bring in these giant inflatable, um, they're not bounce houses, but like physical challenges and stuff like that. The one year we had a zip line that went right over the quad, which was pretty cool. And then the one time we had a high dive. So they blew up one of those like giant, you would see like stump people do, and you would actually be able to jump off the podium like you were jumping, like a, a deep dive, which was pretty cool. Um, as I was mentioning earlier, our outdoor leadership and education program, which has really taken off for us here at Lake Coming. Um, one of the great things, as I stated earlier, we are located in central Pennsylvania. And this program, our outdoor leadership and education, as we like to call it, OLE, um, you could be a novice or you could be an expert in terms of going hiking, backpacking, camping, all that sort of stuff. We do have trips for everyone. And it's also incorporated within the education realm. Um, but for the fun stuff, trips every weekend, trip, they are little to no cost at all to our students. But if you're an expert in terms of backpacking, but you don't want to bring your gear with you to the college, you can actually rent it from OLE, which is really great as well. Um, we actually had a canoe team that competes in a 96 mile race every year, but unfortunately this year due to COVID, we weren't able to do that. Uh, but also, as you can see, that is our rock climbing wall, which is located in the Crab Gateway Center. As I stated before with our study abroad program, outdoor leadership and education actually had the opportunity to go on a trip with the biology department. They went to the Grand Canyon, they backpacked uh, and were actually studying cactuses and how water survives in the desert out in Colorado, which was really unique. And then the last three days, they whitewater rafted down the Colorado River. Really, really cool trip. As an alumni, this was not around when I was a student, so I'm very, very jealous of the students right now that they get this opportunity. And it's really, really cool for them. A lot of great opportunities and a lot of great trips. Jay Ellison, who's in charge of the program, does a really great job with it. And we even do stuff on campus. So the one winter, we actually unfortunately didn't have any snow and we wanted to do a winter fest. Well, he was able to find a snow making machine and uh, we were able to put some snow. There's a, there's a massive hill on the quad and students were able to go sledding down it, um, snow walking, all that sort of cool stuff. Jay does a really great job with the program. Uh, we do also offer athletics, as you can see with the lacrosse photo. We are, in, we are a part of the NCAA Division Three. 
we have 17 teams uh, between men's and women's teams. Um, we compete in the Middle Atlantic Conference. So we play schools such as FDU Fordham, Delaware Valley, Mesocordia, Kings, Wilkes, uh, Lebanon Valley. So those are just some of the schools that we, you know, compete against. But um, we do. If you are interested in athletics, go to our website, like coming.edu. Go to the recruitment page, and you'll be able to fill out a recruitment questionnaire and a, and a recruiting coach who get in contact with you. Just some other things, too. We have college-wide events, our annual CAB concert. When I was a student, we had Kesha, Mac Miller, Maroon 5, so some really, really cool shows. I don't know what the concert's going to be this year. Um, over the last couple of years, though, we had All-American Rejects, Smash Mouth, um, Mike Posner. So those are just some other cool ones. They do a really good job with that. As I stated about our campus carnival, Broadway trips, uh, those are really, really big. Uh, their students actually camp out for those. Um, unfortunately, nothing this year due to COVID, which is sad. But um, we also do leadership retreats. That's a big one down in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. And for those of you who have never been to Gettysburg, it's actually a really interesting trip to kind of see the history that takes place in Gettysburg. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about the Williamsport area. For those of you that don't know, Williamsport is actually very famous um, because of the fact it's home to the Little League World Series. It takes place every year. I was very sad when, when they had to make the call this year that they weren't able to do the World Series. It's really cool um, to see that event, you know, the big parade that takes place before the games get started and to see teams from not only across the United States but all over the world. They you know, come to Williamsport and get to meet some of the coaches and some of the players. They become little superstars, which is really cool. Um, and also, during your first weekend as a freshman, you actually get to see Championship Sunday. So after all your orientation work is done that first weekend, we actually take you over to the Little League World Series to see the championship game between uh, the United States team that wins and the international team that wins, which is, which is pretty cool. Um, it's also a college city. It's very small. Um, the downtown itself is only a five minute walk from main campus. Um, you cross two streets and you're right there, but there's a lot of great places to go eat. There's a movie theater downtown. Um, we have an indoor arena that has an arcade laser tag. Um, they do have a bounce plex in there as well, as well which is really cool. Um, and on Wednesday nights, they do all you can eat wings and all you can eat play for 20 bucks. It's at the Chaos Fun Zone, which is really cool. Um, but there's a lot of great restaurants. Some of my personal favorites, Moon and Raven, um, uh, the Bullfrog, the Brickyard. So if you ever come to Williamsport, you go to the Brickyard, make sure you get the nachos. They are spectacular and get the chicken chili on them. Absolutely amazing. Best nachos you'll ever eat. Um, we're only four hours from five major cities, including DC, New York, Pittsburgh, Philadelphia, and Baltimore. Very easy to get to them. Um, if you're looking to get to a local train station, we do have a bus service that will take you to Harrisburg, which can connect you um, to the train network, so Amtrak. Um, some other things, we have our Community Arts Center, which is a really big, they give us tickets to the, they give tickets to campus. Um, so there's been a couple shows, or um, when I was a student there, they actually had the price was right, which was really cool. I did not get in, I was very upset. Um, but it was really cool to kind of see that move in. Um, but also another big thing, we do have a world-class healthcare organization, um, UPMC, University of Pittsburgh Medical Center. They have a hospital in Williamsport. It's actually only a 10 minute walk to the hospital from campus. So, um, so just something to keep an eye on, especially with everything going on right now um, with COVID. And they partner very, very well with us, with our campus, not only in terms of the medical areas, but also having our students come in internships, uh, specifically those who want to become doctors, nurses, physical therapists, nurse practitioners, all that sort of stuff. Um, the UPMC has done a really, really fantastic job with it. Okay, so you're probably wondering, financial aid. J here's just something I want to tell you. 100% of our students at Lake Coleman College receive financial aid, some sort of financial aid, whether it be merit-based, need-based, or both. And a lot of students are eligible to receive both. Um, just so you know, for those of you who are seniors, FAFSAs are now available for you to fill out. Um, here's our code, so you're more than welcome to take a picture right now, just so you have like Coleman College's code, code um, when you're filling out your FAFSA. Just some numbers to talk about as well. We have a $207 million endowment. For the size of only a 1,200 student campus, a $207 million endowment is massive. Um, that's why we're able to do so many great things on our campus, specifically also provide financial aid for all of our students. Um, 31, 31 million of those, uh, $31 million is awarded annually in aid, whether it's academic and talent scholarships, 
um, also aid intuition and experiences such as those research opportunities I was talking about, study abroad, all that sort of good stuff. Um, we also have some other endowments that also enables us to invite world-renowned scholars to visit, which is pretty, which is pretty important. Um, you know, so sometimes our faculty has some great friends within their fields that they're able to bring in to talk to our students and, and give you guys a full, well-rounded experience. So um, again, I'll leave this up for about two more seconds before I go to the next slide, but that's our code 003293. FAFSAs are eligible now for you to begin to fill out. The next big thing is how and when to apply. Applications are now open for us here at Lycoming College. We, are, we have two applications that students are eligible to fill out free of charge, the common application as well as the coalition application. No difference between the two. Both of those are easily done online. Um, I do want to talk about some of the decisions and deadlines that we have for that. Early decision, I do want to stress early decision is a binding agreement between the student and the college that they decide to go early decision to. If you are accepted to that institution, you will be expected to go there. Um, deadlines for that at Lycoming are November the 15th, with decisions going out on December the 1st. If you are going to look around in other schools, which a lot of students do, which is perfectly fine, early action will probably be the way that you want to go. As well. Early action, get ahead in your application process without the binding commitment of early decision. Those have a December 1st deadline with decisions going out on December the 15th. Anything after that is considered our regular decision process. Just some things to talk about and what you need for your application. Um, here are our application requirements. We have we, the application itself, the essay, an official copy of your high school transcript, SAT or ACT scores. Um, we do understand with everything going on with COVID, um, we are actually a test option school. We've been one since that's actually how I applied to college. Um, so please ignore these two graded writing samples. Um, so for this year, due to COVID, we are not requiring students to submit those writing samples. You just have to fill out the test option form. Um, let us know whether you're either in the top 50% of your graduating class or you've not been able to sit in on a standardized test and we remove that and we will base your, we will make our decision based strictly on your essay, your application itself and your transcript. So those are just some big things as well as your, um, we require one letter of recommendation. We prefer it come from a teacher um, or a guidance counselor or, um, you know, maybe your boss if you have a part-time job. So these are just a, these are just our requirements, and we are a holistic review, so we do take a look at everything when it comes to um, your application. And we do offer merit-based scholarships. I do want to you know talk about that a little bit. They range between eighteen thousand and thirty thousand dollars. So just some things um, to talk about. And if you do apply test option, that does not mean you're not eligible to receive any of those merit-based scholarships. You are in contention for those merit-based scholarships if you go test option. So one of the great things, I understand things are very uncertain right now with everything going on with COVID, but I do want to stress, um, we're open. We've actually been accepting families to visit campus since the middle of June. So you could schedule a visit. Please take a picture of this page. We would love to see you come to campus, take a look around, meet with me. Uh, I do work with all of our students from the state of New Jersey. So you get to sit down with me, chit chat, all that sort of good stuff and get to see what Lycoming like, College is all about. If you're not, okay with that that's perfectly fine we do offer virtual counselor chats same thing you just visit our website like combing.edu visit and click on that virtual counselor chat um, so you can be able to do that as well um, take a virtual tour we just launched our new virtual tour so if you want to see um, what's it like what it's like to be a member of a like Coming college campus please take that virtual tour um, also if you have time right now i'm going to leave this up for a couple more seconds but create your own view book get to see what it's like to put yourself on Lycoming College's campus. So I'll leave that up for about two more seconds here. And then I will go to the last slide, which if I'm not mistaken, are questions. So I'm gonna do that right now. Any questions? Okay. All right. Well, I do wanna let you guys know real quick, um, thank you so much for visiting. If you have any questions or concerns, or you wanna know more about Lycoming College, you can contact me. My email is ossent, O-S-S-O-N-T, at Lycoming, L-Y-C-O-M-I-N-G dot E-D-U, or you can contact me in my office, 570-321-4127. So thank you very much. 
Really appreciate all your time, and we hope to see you on campus soon. Have a great day. And I will stay on here for a couple minutes if students have any questions um, about Lycoming. Well, thank you so much, Justin. That was a great presentation. Um, really great job. So thank you very much. Uh, just a couple of things before we uh, wrap up. Um, wanted to let you know that students, as you sign off uh, on the webinar, you will get a notice for a quick survey. It's just four questions and we ask that you please fill it out. We, we would like your feedback. Um, remind you that the recording will be available on demand. It'll get posted within a week and also remind you to sign up for more sessions at njacac.org slash virtual fair. So, yep, so that wraps it up. So thank you again, everybody, um, and have a great day. Bye. Bye-bye.